Hello students. In this class, we will discuss about the diode current. Last class, we will discuss about the what is the diode. Diode is combination of combination of positive and p type and n type semiconductors. P type and n type semiconductors is called diodes. And we discussed about the in that topic we discussed about the forward bias and reverse bias. How it acts as a switch. So in this, what is the current flow through the diode? We will discuss in this topic. So this is called for the diode anode terminal, and this is negative side is cathode terminal. Always diode current flows from anode to cathode. Anode to cathode. Here we will write the diode current represents with ID that current equal to that current ID equals to I naught into E power V by N V T minus one. This is the formula for the any diode. current current flowing through the diode we will discuss each and every term regarding in the diode current the first term i not so this i not is temperature dependent saturation current temperature dependent dependent saturation current name itself this is the saturation current saturation current means we can name it as a leakage current so in reverse bias it is possible and it will depends on the temperature so temperature will affect the diode current generally that's why this is i not now v v is the point voltage across the diode terminals voltage across diode terminals next n or nita is idealty factor idealty factor is nothing but the so it represents the nearer characteristics of the nearer characteristics of the given diode for the ideal diode this is generally represents with some number this ideal factor equal to 1 for the germanium and this ideal factor equal to 2 for the silicon for the silicon next we have another term that is vt vt is called thermal voltage name itself it is called the thermal voltage so vt has some formula that is kt by q kt by q so here vt is thermal voltage k is the we can write it in every time k is the boltzmann constant boltzmann's constant it is a constant it is useful in doing the equations it has some value that value equals to 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joule per kelvin k is the constant and t is temperature in kelvin temperature of the diode in kelvin temperature of diode at which temperatures diode will operate the temperature will represents by this t in kelvin generally temperature will be measured in two things one is degrees another one is kelvins in the diode characteristics always we will consider temperature in k 
Kelvin units. Temperature in Kelvin units. Right. Next, charge. Small q. This q is represents the charge. That charge equal to. We know the charge have some formula. 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. This is the charge. So by using this formula, we will find out the diode current. ID equal I naught E power V by N V T minus K. Here V T is the thermal voltage. V T is the thermal voltage. This equation, by using the equation, we will discuss lot of problems regarding the diode current. So we will discuss a small problem that is at a temperature 27 degrees, this is 27 degrees, determine the thermal voltage. So he given temperature for the solution, so given temperature small t equal to 27 degrees. But in our problem, we have to take the temperature in Kelvins. That's why we will take capital T. Capital T equal to 273 plus T. So here 273 plus 27 will give 300 Kelvins. What is the formula for thermal voltage? Thermal voltage formula Vt. Vt thermal voltage equal to kT by q. So you know that the values k is Boltzmann constant that is 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joule per Kelvin. T already given what is the q? q is the charge that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. Substitute the above values in the equation Vt k equal to 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 into T. T is the 300 Kelvins. These units are the units of this is we can write here Joule for Kelvin and here Q. Q equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 90 coulombs. So KK will be cancelled and by doing this we will get thermal voltage value equals to 25.875 milli volts. Approximately we can write this is 26 milli volts. So it is a considerable value in case of diodes because diodes has less rating because it is the electronic subject that's why it has less rating if we are considering the electrical this is not a big rating but in case of electronics this is a big rating that's why this thermal voltage is very very important thermal voltage means voltage due to the temperature so we can write thermal voltage means voltage due to the temperature temperature will affect the voltage temperature will affect the voltage okay so this is the diode current formula and this is a small problem okay next topic is diode resistance so last topic is diode current now the diode resistance in order to understand the diode resistance first we will diode resistance have different different formulas by applying the source by applying the source so in order to do the forward bias or reverse bias reverse bias we are using the source so depends on that resistance generally sources are two types our electrical power is two type one is dc power second one is the ac power so depends on this the diode resistance also two types one is dc resistance one is the dc resistance or static resistance the another name is the static resistance 
so we have second thing is there by applying the AC we will get AC resistance or the another name of this is dynamic resistance dynamic resistance so always here resistance applied on the supply so to understand DC resistance for example if you are applying the DC supply DC supply then we will understand this so for example if you are applying the DC supply then if we look at the characteristics of the diode always we will draw this graph so but diode forward in case of diode forward bias generally forward bias will generally forward bias will be increases like this reverse bias is like this okay this is reverse forward bias current and uh, this is the reverse bias current this is the positive diode current and this is the negative diode current if we take a one point across this region if you take any one point after this knee point if you take any one point at that point consider the voltage of the diode voltage and take the current this is the diode current that will gives by ratio of the voltage and current will give the resistance for the DC supply is known as the static resistance or DC resistance that will be represented by RDC that is VD by for DC supply VDC by IDC VDC by IDC understand by applying the DC supply we will take VDC by IDC understand simply at any at any curve so better to take after the knee point now the second thing is the AC resistance or dynamic resistance so for the purpose same same take the curve take the forward bias forward bias curve and take the one point draw a tangent line for this curve draw a tangent line for this curve so for the tangent line take it take the horizontal and vertical and draw the horizontal and vertical lines and if you consider this for this generally this horizontal length is the change in voltage this is diode voltage and this vertical line will give the change in current vertical will give the change in current so this is nothing but we are taking from this this graph only so this part i will consider as this thing take a one point for that one point just draw a tangent line from the tangent line again you take vertical line and horizontal then you will have two lines the horizontal e always represents the voltage vertical always represents the current now it will call it as the AC resistance or the dynamic resistance AC resistance or the dynamic resistance this is change in voltage by change in current change in voltage by change in current so we can write in the words also that is AC resistance or dynamic resistance like this so change in voltage change in voltage for forward bias characteristics same change in current change in current so these are the resistances of the diodes resistance of the diode single point will represents diode resistance but drawing the tangent we will get the change in voltage and change in current that is the dynamic resistance okay right next topic is the diode capacitances so 
sometimes we will draw for the diode in the network like this and sometimes it will represents with some capacitances also it will represent some capacitances and some resistance those are called equivalent circuit of the diode so depends on the circuit parameters depends on the biasing characteristics each and every diode will represents by some elements sometimes it will be represents by the capacitor sometimes it will be represents by the resistors so why it is represent means it has inherent characteristic diode sometimes will acts as the capacitance sometimes sometimes it acts as the resistor so that time in the circuit we will remove the diode and we will replace uh, replace with the capacitance as well as resistance like that so generally diode has two types of capacitance first is the tran transient capacitance transition not transient transition transition capacitance second is the diffusion capacitance we have another thing is there that is the diffusion capacitance first thing is first we will discuss about the transition capacitance so first is transition capacitance so generally transition capacitance so whenever in reverse bias mode what happen so transient capacitance generally will happen in reverse bias mode once again we will look at the reverse bias mode of the pn junction diode so in reverse bias mode what happen so we have a p is there and n is there so in reverse bias mode if you are applying in reverse bias mode if you are applying the junction junction has this is the p type and this is the n type depletion layer width will be very very high generally depletion layer width will be very very high and at p we have e electrons we consisting of the electrons at some layer and n side we have a hole we consisting of the holes positive ions is there okay it is in the case of reverse bias so reverse bias means p type semiconductor will biased by the negative source negative sub negative and n type is by positive then it is in reverse bias this is the depletion layer here depletion layer width will be very very high okay look at here this negative will like a some plate of the negative plate of the capacitor this positive ions region will be acts as a positive plate of the capacitor then it will be acts as a capacitor the inside e inside part is acts as the insulator this is acts as the insulator then it will become a a capacitor it will become a capacitor this capacitance is known as the transition capacitance transition capacitance so generally this transition capacitance is represents by ct ct represents the transition capacitance that formula is epsilon a by d epsilon a by d here ct you know the transition capacitance epsilon means permittivity permittivity of the epsilon means permittivity formula this formula generally this equation 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 i think farad per meter like that okay this is the constant and a diode cross sectional area represents here diode cross sectional area 
and d is the distance between the plates distance between plates of the plates of the capacitor look at here so this is this will be formed once again i will draw the capacitor here one one line and one line so i think this is the negative plate this is the positive plate this is the cross sectional area between the plates and this is the distance between the plates this is a small d and this is the area okay distance between the plates so this is the formation of transition capacitance in the diode next we will discuss the another capacitance that is diffusion capacitance diffusion capacitance so that diffusion capacitance we will write here the second is the diffusion diffusion capacitance the second part is okay so in this diffusion capacitance diffusion capacitance generally formed in forward bias forward bias what is meaning of forward bias positive plate is applied to the positive supply and negative plate is applied to the negative supply generally this is this capacitance will be by applying the forward bias so now we will so in the forward bias case depletion layer width will be very small so this is the depletion layer for example this is the positive side plate and we are applying to the positive side of the supply and n type semiconductor will applied by negative supply and these are the electrons and these are the holes these are the holes so it will also form if you observe here it will also form a capacitance look at here this will be also acts as initially a capacitor right capacitor this capacitance is called diffusion capacitance diffusion capacitor but this capacitance has a property this capacitance originates due to the diffusion of charge carriers in opposite region generally whenever we are doing the forward bias after the cutting voltage the the electrons the holes will be flow like this Hole, holes will be flow this that means diode current will be flow from the p to n the diode current will be flow from the p to n in this format so here the generally the capacitance originates means capacitance becomes zero due to the diffusion of charge generally the charge will be diffused here in the opposite regions okay opposite regions so but we have initially we have some capacitance that capacitance is represents with the cd diffusion capacitance cd has the formula that is dq by dv dq by dv dq means change in the uh, change in the charge carriers dv means change in the voltage and we have the another formula that is tau into tau we can write the tau and uh, di by dv di by dv and we have the another formula that is again tau into g and we have the another formula tau by r these all are the formulas regarding the diffusion capacitance so we will discuss each and everything here here dq we can represents change in charge stored in depletion layer generally by forward bias charge will be changed change in charge stored in depletion layer depletion layer and dq is will be over v will be dv will be same change in voltage 
change in voltage okay this is the time interval of change in voltage t means time interval of change in voltage and not t you can take the tau to understand this di is the change in current di is the change in current okay g is the diode conductance small g is the diode conductance small r is the diode resistance in order to understand the diffusion capacitance these formulas are very much useful very much useful so this is about the diode capacitance one is transition capacitance another one is the diffusion capacitance okay thank you